1100 meters to race, penultimate race of the afternoon, and uh, away they go from the 1100 meter mark. Starters caught them in a good enough line distinction towards the inside. Broke out well with Paul K. to us. Southern Stars also show some good early pace. Lady Lookalike's also not too far off them in the early stages. Deep Rouse in the track. We've got Miss Marguerite, the pink sleeves, with the blue cap. Also up there in contention with the likes of Kinky Boots. Then just in behind the leading couple of horses is Kathira racing alongside Winter Rainfall. Further back in the field is Pineapple Mint Green, Knockout, and Oni Sun. Those three angle they run towards the middle outside of the track as they're into the final 450 metres. They spread right across the track. Deeper out, Kinky Boots might have a nose in front. Down towards inside, Kathira Distinction and Paul K. Tavas move in for the kill. Also right there, Southern Stars with Winter Rain for Lady Lookalike. Miss Marguerite, Kinky Boots, Deeper out, Oni Sun and Knockout. Towards the inside is Paul K. Tavas with Kathira and Distinction. Deeper out, Winter Rain for taking off with Southern Stars. Then Deeper out, we've got Pineapple Mint Green starting to find a good finish. Pineapple Mint Green coming at all of them. Quickens up best of all. And Pineapple Mint Green too good for them. Southern Stars second, Winter Rainfall in third, then came Porte to in fourth, further back to Knockout, Distinction Lady Lookalike was further back in the field. They spread right across the track here for the penultimate race of the afternoon. The winner's hidden away. Four from the left-hand side, the gap opens up. Sean Veal puts her nose down in front. Now starts to quicken up best of all, moves up into the lead and draws clear from the rest of the opposition with another impressive win here for this daughter of Jimmy the Greenlight. Now becomes a three-time winner from the 11 starts. A bid well done to the breeders from Farsantine Stud Farm and a host of owners involved. Mr. Carlmanson as well as uh, Mr. Rowett as uh, the winning owners here. Mrs. Carlmanson as well and as well as Mrs. Rowett. So a whole family affair here for number eight Pineapple Mint Green. A certainly impressive win in race number seven. Thank you very much, uh, MJ. Thanks to Craig Zaki as well for the feedback on uh, the second placed runner. Uh, nothing wrong with that performance, but ultimately you can't take away from the eventual winner being Pineapple Mint Green. Now three-time winner from 11 starts. Well done to Eric Sands and to the man on my left, your right, Sean Veal. Well done, Shawnee. I thought that was an excellent ride. You obviously know her very well, and this is what she can do at her very best. Yes, you know, when I got beaten her before, she was still very mature. And I sort of tried something different when she ran second, give her a chance and get her to drop it, and then because she can quicken. And like you saw today, I was doing pace work, uh, shook up, going through the 300, and she blew them away. Well done to Mr. Sands and to Ellen and well, to the rest of their team. She won a very good race today again, and obviously to the Kalmersons. Uh, apparently, it's a daughter and a son's horse, so I'm just so blessed to ride another winner for Mr. Sands and obviously to my wife and my two boys in Durban. This one's for them. Well, Shawnee, we love having you in the Western Cape. Keep up the good work. Excellent ride. Well done. You know, my trainer said I have to ride more work. I told him I'll be here next week, so you'll see a lot more of me. And you will be, yeah? Huh? Professional man is Shawnville. Well done to him. Well done to you, Mr. Sands. Back to you, Vicky. Thank you very much, Brandon. Uh, Pineapple Mint Green, it's the cousin's horse, so wonderful to also have Susan on course to represent the family. But uh, Eric Sands will come across and join me for the win with uh, Pineapple Mint Green. And Eric, I know that she, she can be a little bit warm and at hot under the collar, but you said that Sean gets along well with her, and um, I thought he put, rode it particularly well today. She's not really a hot filly. She just uh, takes a good hold and she can overdo it. Uh, I really was uh, happy with choosing in today's race that it fell this way because there was a lot of, on, on form there was a lot of pace in the race which took off the bit and she finished the race a, uh, better than I, ever she has before and then uh, stuff to Adam as he I've been just watching his horse for him and uh, I said to watch out for her we've got to watch out for each other it is a good well a good result for for both of them and also lovely to have Susan on course it's really lovely to have Susan on course and uh, to all the cousins well done. Thank you very, very much. I'm really proud to train for them. This is the future. Well done, Eric. Thank you. Susan, if you can please come across and have a chat to me. I love speaking to you when it comes to the cousins. Horse, Pineapple Mint Green, well done. Oh, thank you. I'm very happy to be representing them again. And well done to Eric because he picked her in the paddock and said this is the best filly. He really wants to train her. So, so then we said that's worthy of the cousins. And... and well done to them. And I've got to tell you where they all are. Alice and Charlotte are in England. Hannah is in Senegal making a presentation to, on UNICEF nutrition program. And John is in a cardboard box factory in Jamaica. Very interesting. I love these updates. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Vicky. Well done, cousins. <laughs> well done, Susan. Thank you very much. It's 
Wonderful. I think uh, every time Pineapple Mint Green, we've got to hope that she um, ends up in the winner's box and Susan can ask to update us and all the cousins. So well then to all of you out there. Hope if you're watching, not live, hopefully the replay. And also um, to mention Fast for 10 for breeding Pineapple Mint Green. Lovely result. Well written by Sean.